Okay, so here we are, question 21 of mixed exercise, chapter 1. So, a rectangle has a length, one rectangle, has a length of 1 plus root 3. 1 plus root 3. And it has an area of root 12. Calculate the width of the rectangle in the centimeter. Okay, and they want the answer in the form of A plus B root 3, where A and B are integers. So, let's call this side X, okay? And so to find the area of that rectangle, we need to do X times 1 plus root 3 is going to equal root 12. Multiply out the bracket. x times 1 is x. x times root 3 is x root 3. In fact, no, we don't want to multiply out the brackets. OK, we are going to leave them as they are. And we are going to divide by the bracket to begin with. So x is going to equal root 12 over 1 plus root 3. But this is clearly not in the format of a plus b root 3. To do that, we are going to start rationalizing the denominator. So we're going to have root 12 times 1 minus root 3 all over 1 plus root 3 times 1 minus root 3. So we're just multiplying the bottom there by 1 minus root 3 to rationalize it so that we get rid of all the square roots in the bottom. So doing that, let's do the top line, root 12 or root 12 times 1 minus root 3 times root 12. On the bottom, 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times minus root 3 and plus root 3 times 1 cancel each other out. And then minus 3. So we end up with root 12 minus root 36, because we can combine the 3 and the 12. Um, and we end up with 1 minus 3, which is minus 2. Finishing off then, hopefully, we end up with I'm going to break root 12 into root 3, root 4 to give me 2 root 3 minus 6 over minus 2, which gives me 3 minus root 3, which should be in the form of a plus b root 3, which is minus 1 for our b. Okay, so that seems good. All right, question 22 then. Question 22. Show that 2 minus the square root of x squared divided by the square root of x can be written written as four x minus a half minus four. 
plus x to the power of a half. So let's start by multiplying at the top of this fraction. Okay, so 2 times 2 is 4, minus 2 times root x, and there's another minus 2 root x, and minus and a minus is a plus, root x times root x is just x, all divided by the square root of x. Four minus four root x plus x all divided by root x. Collecting the two terms in the middle. So how do we get that to finish up? That is four divided by root x minus four when I divide the root x into the x, and when I do x divided by the square root of x, I get the square root of x, so plus the square root of x. Okay. You can write the square root of x as the power of a half, so this is x to the power of a half, minus 4, and this is 4 times x to the power of a half, but because it was underneath, it is minus a half, which is the same as 4 x times half times 4. Yes, that's all there. Good. Now then, question 23. Okay. So we are given 243 root 3 is equal to 3 to the power a, and they want to know what a is. So ultimately, what we want to do here is we want to write it out in the powers of 3. We know that if we start dividing by 3, I think we will find that 243 is divisible by 3. Okay, And if we keep on dividing it by 3, it should jump up with an answer here for us. So, taking the calculator, 243 divided by 3. 81, so that's promising. Divided by 3 again is 27. Divided by 3 again is 9. And divided by 3 again is 3. So that is 3 to the power of 5. So this is 3 to the power of 5 times in 3 to the power of a half. Okay equal to 3a. What happens when you're multiplying things with the same x? Remember, if you're doing x times x, you get x squared, you add the powers. So, 3 to the power of 5 and a half, because 5 plus a half, 5 and a half, is equal to 3a. So, therefore, a Last one on here. Okay. Question 24. Given. Okay, so question 24. We are given that 4x cubed plus x to the power. 5 over 2 all over the square root of 
x and we want to write it out in the form of 4x to the power a plus x to the power b and write down the values of a and b okay let's separate out these terms it's going to be 4x cubed divided by x to the power of a half plus x to the power of 5 over 2 divided by x to the power of a half when we are dividing powers we take them away so that's going to be 4x 3 take away a half plus x 5 over 2 take away a half okay so we end up with 4 x 3 take away a half is 2 and a half plus x 5 halves take away a half is 4 halves and 4 halves is 2 okay so I'll just put a note on there that equals 4 over 2 which equals 2 okay which means we end up then with the final answer of a final answer of a is equal to two and a half and b is equal to two.